What's what's going on, everybody? I, I think I'm live, according to YouTube. I haven't done this before yet, so I could just be talking to myself here. Um, let me start bringing up the chat and stuff. Yeah, here we go. We're in. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, my 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 little manager wears it. He's a tracksuit guy. We're not we're not a big suit and tie guy. We don't we don't want to be pretentious. So I got the uh, the kit that NYCFC sent me. Uh, very fortuitously, I, I don't even think that my first episode with the save was out before that, that came through. It was just a cool jersey, and, and I was happy that, that they sent it by. Um, again, let me, I gotta start figuring out how to, how to look at the chat here, so I can start talking to you guys. What's going on? Alright, yeah, I can see it, alright. Alright, Henry, Sam, McCheeky, Caesar, Alter, Foz, Amos, Vince, what's up? <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for uh, confirming that this is working because, again, I am too dumb to, to figure, techno technologically dumb and just generally dumb to figure this stuff out. Anyway, so for those of you who have watched the beginning of this save, we uh, started unemployed. We were going to take the first job that we were offered. I interviewed at, like, I think Kansas City was the first team that had a job opening. DC United did. Uh, but NYCFC were the first one to say, you know what, I want to take take a chance on you. And here we are, two games left in the regular season. I inherited NYCFC when they were at the bottom of the East. As you can see here, we are on the outside looking in for the playoffs, and we have two very, very difficult games left at Cincinnati, at Atlanta. Uh, this is unfortunate, but um, I'm going to bring up a pro rel database in, in MLS. That'd, that'd be fun. Um, I, I think my next save is, and you guys tell me if you actually – uh, think this is dumb. I think my next save would be to just put an MLS team in the championship, rile up some, uh, you know, Eng England is better or everything else like that. I think that'd be more fun and more straightforward, I think, for most people watching FM. And then we would still get the MLS connections, or that would be stupid. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly where I would. Yes, Kyle Barnhart, FM24 is absolutely worth it, but I'm, I'm kind of psychotic in that this is what I do in my free time, my free time from doing real life soccer stuff just do virtual soccer stuff and it's even more psychotic for me to be doing this with an mls team because this is all i do and then i look at it and get mad and say things like sam vines is better than this he should be better so here are the tactics that i've pulled up for this save um my friend jeff Ruder, he uh, he and i happen to be working on a nancy ball tactics um at the same time and as i was putting mine together he texted me he's like dude i spent a while working on this check it out and i was like wow i was trying to do that too yours is much better than mine so it looks pretty cool uh it's a 343 play out of the back uh, again shorter tempo we, we've been dominating possession and xg and everything we've just been bad defensively which i guess is what happened to wilfer nazi's crew at the beginning of when he took over um transition take everything short counter press slow pace down all of that very high line. Um, keeper's got to gotta come up and be sweeper keeper. That's why we saw sign somebody named Ronaldo. Um, Kyle Debelek. I I do. I'm still kind of. He asked if, if I play anything other than FM. I I do play AFC. That's kind of like I've gotten shorter and shorter. I still buy it every year, and I'll like obsessively play it for any time between six weeks and three months. This year, I think I lasted six weeks before I tapped out. Uh, but that's just kind of me. Um, yeah. Yeah, Marcos Ramirez, the the happy foot, sad foot pod did end. The, it did literally escalated quickly at the end. I, as, as you saw that I joked, I was um, kind of sneaking out of the window because I didn't want wh whatever that was going to get caught in terms of uh, being replayed. I didn't want my face next to it. As my good friend Travis was talking about Olivier Giroud and, and cuck cages somehow. But that's, you know, that's what you sign up for when you go on the happy foot, sad foot podcast. Um Okay, so yeah, thanks, thanks everybody for stopping by. I was, I, uh, I asked, I put out a call for AMA because I was afraid that like three people were gonna be here and nobody was gonna be in the chat. So I thank you guys for that. Um, at some point, I need to start playing the game, and and, and I am pretty, pretty bad, pretty bad at, at multitasking here. Yeah, you're welcome, Kyle. Um, Ben Wright, my go-to boots for men's league right now. I got, I got a, a Adidas, pr pretty, uh, pretty classic Copas. Um, they're on. I got them last year at GA Cup actually, and I'm going to GA Cup next week. Um. I need, I'm going to need new ones soon, so so that's what we got to watch out for. Um, if you guys are curious how this season is shaped up in Football Manager, surprisingly, Inter-Miami down down in fifth. The game doesn't really let Messi play 90 minutes, which I don't really get. Atlanta United in the Shield lead, but Philly controls their own destiny here. 
Um, let's go back to Major League Soccer. Bupenza, Dante Van Zier, Timu Puki here in the Golden Boot lead, which is pretty fun. Mikhail Ura, Yakumakis, Kucho Hernandez, you know, the usual suspects. Uh, Talis Magno for us is doing very, very well. Um, what else do we have? Assist leaders, Lucho Acosta with 16 ahead of second place, Hani Mukhtar, uh, tied with Emil Pellegrino as well. Um, but still, Lionel Messi has the highest average rating. It's just not translating to as many um, to as many goal contributions as you think. That's like nine goals and four assists. Like I'd be shocked if he played twenty, had twenty seven starts at MLS this year. And just whatever. This is getting a little bit too far into the weeds. We'll look at San Jose Earthquakes, <laughs> first place in the West. So if there's any San Jose fans, uh, please, please enjoy this because it, it's not been like that for the regular season. Uh, somebody asked me where Colorado is going to finish. Right now, Colorado are in fifth place in the West. So, so that's good fun for some of these teams. Toronto at the bottom. Vancouver at the bottom. So sorry, Mayan, uh, about Vancouver there. But all right, let's get into a game. Um, we're in must-win territory. Who does Chicago play? We got. We need Nashville to beat Chicago. It's, it's us, Chicago, or Orlando, or maybe Montreal for that last playoff spot. We need... We need a result here, and I'm, I'm very worried. <clears throat> Corey Acevedo says to turn my wing back to the wingers. I've done that a few times to get Julian Fernandez on the field, but we're just going to kind of start. I'm going to keep it like this. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, real quick, uh, schedule. I took over here. My first game was this Austin FC game, and we won 4-2, and I was like, hell yeah. Then we beat St. Louis, and I was like, oh, dude, this is going to be too easy. I'm just going to rip through this. And then we got killed in the league's cup and then we came back and it's just been bad it's just been really really frustrating and disappointing a lot of a lot of late goals given up uh that's why we're in this predicament so this stream might be short it might just be me playing two games and we missed the playoffs and that's gonna probably be boring so um hopefully that doesn't happen all right what do we got here pens is on the other side yeah i'm gonna go with back I, I could play talis magno up top and then put in julian fernandez or maxi morales but I don't know, man. I'm just going to try to play what I think is my strongest team available. Uh, Hannes Wolf, Tavon Gray are injured. Jovan Miatovic, who I just was giving the starts to, he's injured now as well. Um, you know what? Actually, screw it. Let's go down swinging. I'm gonna, I like that idea that, that you had in the chat. I'm just going to put in Julian Fernandez because every time I play him, he plays well for me. So, screw it. Sorry, Jeff Reuter. We're, we're tinking around with your tactic. Uh, Sam Vines, put him on. Ooh. Oh, we're just going to play a little bit. Just gonna play lopsided here, and then make Sands a wide center back. Perfect. All right. I hope this works. Yes, uh, Dylan asked if the New England Revolution fans should be concerned. Yes, one thousand percent. Yes, you should be concerned. Um, I've said this on a few videos. Like a team that has Carla Hill and so many, you know, veteran standard uh, players that shouldn't be very bad. That players that should be very dependable. It's shocking. It really is. Um, I'd be really worried considering how Caleb Porter's last season in Columbus went combined with the start here. Like again, uh, CONCACAF Champions Cup overlap. That is difficult. I understand there's empathy there, but what they've done and what has gone on for New England since Bruce Arena was put on administrative leave, there's just a lot of bad right there. And again, they still have the players that, to turn it around. I will back a Carlos Hill team until as long as he's available. I think that they have a chance to be fine no matter what, but like it's a really awful start. Hans Wolf, uh, McSheeky, I, I mean, he hasn't left a huge impression on me. I mean, he hasn't been awful uh, for NYCFC in real life this year. He hasn't been so good. Ryan Hay, hello from Aberdeen as well. They, they're not as well, but hello, <laughs> saying hello from Aberdeen. That's very, very, I appreciate that. I hope uh, hope that you can understand my New Jersey accent the same way that um, people joke about Scottish accents. I appreciate you. All right, nobody nobody gives a shit about my uh, pregame pep talk. I think we're going to lose. I, you know, I'm not going to tell the boys that. But based on the locker room right now, trying to tell the boys, the fans to cut, turn out through thin and thick, I don't love that response. All right. Um, here we go. Um, Halsey playing at defensive mid. Kolmanich. They have Kolmanich. <laughs> all right. Here's our 11 as well. Um, all right, boys. Who else do they have? They have Acosta technically playing up top. Yu Yakubo can play anywhere, of course. Kip Keller in there. I did try to um, trade for Roman Celentano. I hope Yelvich goes for six for my Golden Boot team. This feels slower than it normally is. Uh, this feels a little too fast. I can't tell if this is my computer or the stream. <laughs> Sorry. That would have been uh, something I should have solved <laughs> originally. 
there, when we concede goals, it is rarely like this, where teams just completely play through us like this. Oh, usually it's just us getting carved up in transition. So that right there was a worrying sign to start the game here. Uh, yeah, nobody's outpossessed us like this uh, yet. Talk you off the Matthew Dwell. Talk you off the ledge as a Dallas fan. Oof, that's tough. I mean, it works in theory for Dallas. Um, hasn't in practice for a couple of years. God damn it! Uh, oh, referee! Referee saved by VAR. VAR. Oh, come on! Well, that sucks. Oh, he's offsides. I would need a different VAR review. Are these the are these pro referees or or, or are these replacement referees? I demand to know. God damn it. Not great. Oh, at least we're attacking now. I don't know how I'm not dominating games with Keaton Parks and Tanner Tessman in the midfield in a back three. I just don't understand. Fundamentally disagree, football manager. Sammy Vines down the wing. Yeah! We're back on the board! Let's go! Shout out Julio Fernandez. Yes, my Timbers DP is looking like a, a solid pick. I thought it was going to be Bert Rame when I made that selection, but I knew Jonathan Rodriguez was in the mix. I'm, I'm glad with that signing. I think I think Rodriguez would probably score more goals than Bert Rame would have, even if Bert Rame probably is the, is the better player overall. I really like Jonathan Rodriguez. I would like to... I do have an American Wonder Kid, uh, Ice. I have uh, Christian McFarlane, even if he's English. Yeah, uh, Andy. I don't... Uh, who said this? Henry. No, yeah, I don't know how San Jose are first in the West. Shout out, Caleb Pongratz, fellow D, uh, D3 athlete. I think you're still active, unlike me being current. Let's go, Willard Fernandez! Let's go! Oh, my God! Uh, I'm going to take all the credit for starting him. I'm just kidding. That that was thanks to you guys. If I wasn't doing this live stream, I probably would have played it boring and probably would have had Ilinich at right wing back instead of Julian Fernandez at right wing. So thank you very much for start, for helping push me into that decision. See, this is why I need my backroom staff. You guys are the backroom staff. Yeah, Henry, Henry says uh, there's a chance I understand the, the skills of MLS players a bit more than FM does. It's funny that like, it's not even me saying that I, I understand it better or like have a better scout. It's just that from watching all of the games that I watch and all of the people I talk to, it's like I, I, I like I struggled to do an MLS save before, not because of like F, like it's really difficult for FM to program it, but to be like, oh, come on, Tanner Testament. Yeah, we're cooking again. We're cooking again. Um, Yeah, but so back to that. It wasn't just it, like it wasn't me being like so in my own head like oh I'm the man I know I know MLS so much better than the professionals that they have doing this. It'd be like stupid things like like whatever Tanner like if it's Tanner Tasman for example, be like oh dude they have him as a 12 work rate. He's definitely a 13 work rate. This stinks. This is stupid. Like things like that, right? Like it's not even major stuff. It's just when you're inside it so much. I'd rather just go play in the championship. So if there's pl like there's players that I haven't seen play and it's like I only know if they're good or bad because of FM like. There was one team this this winter. Um, I reported already, uh, so I'll, I'm free to say the name. Before Atlanta signed Bartosz Sleesh, one of the targets on their list, Bartosz Sleesh was their top target, but another one of their targets was Lewis Travis. He's plays for Blackburn in the championship. I have not seen that man play in real life one single time. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, not locked in on, on a ton of Blackburn football. But I've played enough championship football manager that, like, the... Oh, my God, we're killing him. It's 4-1 at halftime. Uh, I can't even, you know, I, I, I keep on trying to fill time like a baseball announcer. And then, you know, there's there's balls in play and I'm mid-story here. Um, anyway, Atlanta were, were interested in signing Lewis Travis. And I felt super confident to say I know what he's like as a player just because of all the FM time. I was like, oh, he's got a great work rate. He's a ball-winning midfielder. Um, he, he, he's, got, he's super tenacious, all this stuff. And, like, it was exactly what Atlanta were looking for. So I was, I was you know, patting myself on the back for FM knowledge. But it's easier, long-winded way of saying, easier to play in the championship with players you don't know than to get angry about it when they disagree with your MLS opinions. EAFC insists that Xiao Pao is a left wing back. That's brutal. Yeah, um, I got to say, I've, I've been talking through this, which is better because the last few games have been very miserable to play through. All right, we were, look, look at the stats. Yes, 
We've scored four goals on five shots on target, four goals on 1.4 XG. You could say correctly, we've been lucky this game, but I've won the XG battle in every single other game and given up goals at the end and lost. So I'm going to take the luck here. Um, I'm going to tell these boys to not get complacent. I think they're going to get upset with me, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, boys, it's important to stay focused. Don't allow complacency to creep in. Complacency to creep in. You know, Julian Fernandez likes to believe that, you know, that's fair. I, I, I want to go put my arm around him and say, hey, I was talking to everybody else, not you. Don't worry, Julian. Oh, Ryan, hey, yeah, Lewis Travis. That was the point. Blackburn were trying to get rid of his wages. <laughs> um, Harry Goldberg, are the Revs totally toast? Um, I, it'd be stupid to say anybody's totally toast in MLS at this stage of the year because, you know, that's just MLS. Um, but as far as totally toast in March goes, that, that'd be the New England Revolution. Again, they could still turn it around. Look at Kansas City last year. They went winless in their first 10 games, figured it out, and were genuinely really good down the stretch. Um, so, yeah, that, that's your hope. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to pause it right now. I'm going to let, I think, the first three people to reply in the chat here uh, will let me know. Do we keep this tactics as is for right now for the next 20 minutes and get to the 70th minute? Or do we go to something like Tiki Taka or Fluid Counterattack? You guys tell me. First, the majority from the first three answers um, is what we're going to do if we, if we stick or twist. I hate that there's a delay here, so I'm just going to stare at the chat <laughs> until, until it catches up. All right, we have one vote for as is. We got, oh, we got a, oh my God. I love you guys. That's what I like to see. Everybody wants it as is. All right, go down swinging if we're going to go down. Oh, Backrar's even almost scoring. He's been uh, not very good for me in this save. Um, I think when we get to the 70th minute, we're going to, we're going to play a little bit, a little bit more boring. Penalton ball bust. Um, seventy fifth minute, and we're gonna rein it in. Ah, if we can see it on this highlight, I'm gonna be. Oh. We're not built to sit deep either, though. I don't want to be naive, but I also don't want to. Oh boy, Sammy. God damn it! Referee, do your job, please. I thought they caught off sides. Give me a break. All right. I'm in full panic mode. If we drop points from winning positions again, like you guys might have to start calling me Caleb Porter. Uh, all right. We're going to go fluid counterattack. Do we even have anybody to play left back right now? Ugh, this sucks. All right. Talos Magno at top. Santi in there. Um, Andres Perea, make you box to box. Time, time, time wasting always. Be more disciplined. <laughs> uh, mid block. I don't love this. I almost forgot to take um, back raw off of, of right back right there. That would have been hilarious. I accidentally started Maxi Morales at center back one of these recent games because I forgot to check was I was changing stuff. Um, all right. Where did King Parks go? Did I take him out? Didn't mean to take him out. Uh, that's what we'll do. All right, better. Uh, James Sands is better than this, man. I just got to tell you. Like, this is bollocks. All right. Oh, my God. Hold on your butts time. Oh, they're going all out attack. <laughs> look at this. Look at since he's attack right now. Bupenzo, Oriano, Baird, and Acosta. Oh, I don't want to see any more highlights. No, Henry, the the chat wouldn't be fired. I, I should be fired. I'm afraid if I don't make the playoffs, I am going to be fired. And this save's going to end pretty quickly. Jesus Christ, Julian. You're giving the ball away for no reason. Put in a tackle. I stick a little light. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Alright, Sammy Vines. Well done, son. 
You call this a four one two two one? Just call it a four three three, bro. That's a four one two two two. It's too. That's too uh, complicated. For the love of God, stop showing me highlights. I don't want anything else to happen. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Oh fucking god. God damn it. Ah, oh, this sucks. We're soft. We're just soft. It's that simple. God damn it. How does this happen? How does this happen? <sighs> Thrash arms. I throw water bottle. I did that last time. I, I I want I want to yell angrily, much more angrily. Give me different options for being angry. Bastards. Yeah, bogart out. I, I'm with you there. <laughs> Honestly, God, I think I'm gonna bench this Ronaldo that I signed. Oh, sweet. We have two wait two weeks to ruminate on this. What does Chicago do? Where's where's the Chicago result? Oh, there it is. Keep on skipping past it. Oh, sweet. Chicago won. Gah. That might be it for the playoffs, boys and girls. It's shocking, man. That is shocking. I'm furious. Uh, all right. Back to the chat. This is like in, in the last video where I spent, I think, six weeks in a row just uh, training set pieces. I think I'm just going to spend weeks and weeks in a row of, of training, defending leads. Colo Torre, assistant, one of my coaches. I love Colo Colo. Um, become an established MLS team was one of my objectives. Okay. I don't know what I did, but I did it. Why does Javier Perez keep on getting um, MLS jobs in, in FM? It's not a good coach. Yeah, see the training, training is set piece, set piece. I get to vote, vote an MLS Young Player of the Year. All right, that's pretty cool. I haven't, I haven't seen this yet. Am I allowed to vote for Talos Magno? I hope so. I must, I must what? Oh. Uh, that's it. I did it. All right. This is unfortunate. Right. Was Memo Ochoa linked with San Diego? Somebody, somebody, tell me who and 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 what. I haven't I haven't seen that. Uh, Kevin Jean Pierre asked any tips or advice for keeping track of everything that happens in all the games on a match day. Honestly, I'm less three sixty. Um, but generally, I'd probably say just don't um don't stress yourself over it, right? Like I can, I find myself trying to do that for obviously for, for what I do for a living. Um, and it, it's, it's been difficult. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Mickey Amane. Oh, I can't vote Sam Vine for this one. Uh, Lima and Baizo. Look at this. We looks like I, a fullback's going to win defender of the year for the first time ever. I, th Tim Shred keeps asking about Matt Turner to the revs on, on loan. Yeah, that, I mean, I'm sure that they would love for that to happen. I don't know if you're aware of what Matt Turner's wages are in England, but they are certainly not tamable. Uh, so I, I don't think that I'm going to spend much time thinking or talking about that. Hey, Ryan, hey, I would I would have avoided relegation. If this was a, a pro-rel league, I, you'd be, everybody would be chanting my name in the streets for taking us out of last place and, and finishing mid-table and not making the playoffs. <sighs> McCheeky, you got to tell me who the links are from. Oh, wow. I, ha I, ha I have my own stream up and I see an ad. I don't know. What the hell just happened? I don't even know those. I'm getting an ad on my own stream. It's me. Do I get do I get a couple cents for uh, watching an ad on my own stream? Uh, 
Edward Edward Coden says that that his wife left him because you keep watching my streams. Um, you're clearly lying because this is my first stream. If you said YouTube video, then I'd say you know if she doesn't want to watch with you, then let that let that woman out of your life. I was gonna curse, but let her let her out of your life. That's all I gotta say. You gotta tell her short king season, baby. I'm just gonna let that joke sit and take a take a sip break because I was so proud of that one. <laughs> Oh, wait, I should have looked at those results. Let's see. Do we even have a chance going into the final day? You can count on the Chicago Fire to, to blow a result when they need one. So what happens? We need to win. Chicago need to lose because I'm not going to catch them on goal difference. And need Orlando to drop points. <laughs> Matthew 12. Corporate Bogart worry about adds more than wins. <laughs> That's a good bit. I like that. Um, Christopher Wright on Houston DP spot. No clue. I know that they were looking. I thought they were close to signing somebody recently, um, which reminds me somebody. Tony Rubio asked me on Twitter about the Kevin Kelsey links. Uh, Cincinnati's real. Houston were interested. That's the best. I'm not going to, I don't want to be too flippant and say it's just straight up bullshit that Houston are in the mix right now because maybe something will change. But what I was told, that is not that is not active with Houston. It, it, it's Cincy is it, the team that's in from. Um, and then to make good on a couple of the questions that I asked on Twitter so they don't go to waste. Uh, Morgan Tenza asked me which five players to watch at GA Cup and then also how many beers we'll drink. I can tell you I will, I will be drinking plenty of beers. Don't you worry about, about me and that. Um, your, uh, Yorgos Yakamakis counts for a new player, the newcomer of the year, because this game, it's still technically 2023 if you look at the top right corner. Uh, I don't want to vote on that. That wouldn't be fair. I'm going to go with Neil Forsberg because uh, of what he's doing in real life. But anyway, uh, Morgan asked five players to watch at GA Cup. The reason why I go to GA Cup is to discover kind of the players I should be paying attention to. Two easy ones, though, to say is, is Kevin Sullivan. He's on his way there this week. He's going to be with the Philadelphia Union as far as I know. And NYCFC forward Zidane Yanez. He just signed a homegrown contract this winter as well. Super highly rated uh, Chilean Youth International. Um, but again, like, I could say names that I know that I've, from people who've told me that are pretty good. But I don't, like, Chase uh, Adams from Columbus. There, there's, you know, plenty of guys in Red Bulls and Phillies that, that names have been thrown at me. There's a, a Chicago kid that was with the Youth National Team. I'm forgetting his name. Um, this isn't very good content, but... Anyway, um, last year, guys like Julian Hall, who, who's with the Red Bulls first team now, just turned 16. Taha Harbron from the Columbus Crew signed a homegrown contract this winter. Tanner Rosborough signed a first team, uh, signed a pro contract. Aiden Stokes, another Red Bull player, signed a pro contract. These are This is what I use the Jake up for, is to learn about the kids that I need to because like, I'm not in the youth soccer scene. I got enough on my plate, um, but like... This is the best way to talk to scouts, to talk to academy coaches, to talk to whoever, to watch the games myself, everything. So I'll come back to you next week with, with guys who um, impress me in my couple days down at the GA Cup. I won't get to watch all the teams because I'm only going to be there when the playoffs start. So we'll see. I'll probably miss some guys. Yeah, uh, I've heard good stuff about Gavin Wolf, considering I just found out that there's another Wolf brother <laughs> that, that, that's in the system. Um, I didn't know if, if he was on the pro track like his older brothers, but he is. And uh, people have told me he's pretty good. Gabriel Peck is up for the MVP award. Look, Messi, I, I love you. I cannot vote Messi with nine goals and four assists for a team that finishes in fifth. I, I kind of have to vote. Okay, I can't vote for Bagno. I was going to say I don't really want to, but I kind of have to. Look at these numbers and everything. I think I got to go Amal Pellegrino. And Lionel Messi. And then, uh, yeah, Carlos Hill. Sorry, Gabriel Beck. Um, should have voted Scott Hartfield. You're welcome, Chris, right? Thoughts on Asad to Cincy? I don't... I'm surprised how far he's fallen. I thought that he was going to be a, a regular player with DC United. And he just never played and then was a free agent. I don't understand. Um, MLS lurker on, on if Rui Diaz would get bought out or his con I, I'm working under the, the extraordinarily strong assumption that they're not going to buy him out, that he's going to just be here till the winter. I mean, maybe like if a team in South America or Mexico offers to take him in the summer or wants him in the summer, that could happen, but I, I don't see them buying him out is what I'm told. Oh, we got a youth intake. I don't know that that happens in October, um, in MLS. We got a lot of elite talents. We got a wonder kids coming through too bad that I'm, my, my ass is going to get fired for not making the playoffs. What's up, Eloy? Dupace? Got another winger? 
All right, love to see that. Uh, but we're focused on making the playoffs. Derek Fells. Um, I've let I've accidentally let a few curses slip. I don't think I'm supposed to, as per YouTube guidelines. When there's advertisements, it's gonna be difficult to not. <laughs> this is FM is just associated with my free time, so I don't know how to just not talk normal. Um, but yeah, so that'll be a fun subplot to see if I if I can't if I can't curse. Oh, Kevin Jean Pierre, if you're trying to cover MLS like me, good luck. Um, get yourself Twitter lists with some of the best national writers, beat writers, people in the space that you like. That's a good way to keep up because I try to watch as many games as I possibly can and, and catch up at, at the very least on highlights for every game. But it's humanly impossible to watch every single game every single weekend, and you can drive yourself insane. Uh, so definitely find like people that you trust that that like you can always you know talk to like i'm good friends with caitlin carr and caitlin carr is a color commentator for mls and he's i talked to him after his games um you know devin kerr is another color, color commentator i'm gonna go down the list here brian dunsett like i've got that like that's nice for me but like you can still follow like beat writers that that are that'll be able to talk about the games and everything else so that's one way to cover to like you get a good crash course on stuff that you're not able to watch and then for me i try to really push myself to watch like, even if there's a game that I want to watch more, my watchability rankings will come out at some point. If if there's another game on at the same time between two teams I haven't I haven't watched in the, in the last few weeks, like, closely, like, I'll challenge myself to put on the game I want to watch least just to make sure that I, that I see the people I need to see. Um, we got a message retracted. I wonder what happened there. Yes, I've, I've seen the Emil Forsberg trauma. It's not something that I really report on. So I'm going to stay out of it. It, it. It's on social media. I think you, it, it's not going to be hard to find. I think Eli Lesser did, did some uh, videos on it too if you if you want something quicker. Um. All right. I You know what? I'm just not playing back. Raw. He just doesn't do anything any single time that he plays for me. Um. So Maxi Morales is in. Big game from Sanctuary. As you can see by the tone of my voice, I don't have very much um, hopes for this game because we just keep unconceding goals late. Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, gotta beat Atlanta. Gotta see what happens. Yes, Henry. It is time. It is time. Your Derek Fells. Your name is is uh, attached to your comment, so that's why I said your full government name. Do you think that I just doxed you? Matthew Dwell, did another ad come up? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to need to look into that. <laughs> um, can I throw a water bottle before the game? You can only do that after the game. No, the pressure isn't on them. The pressure is on us, you clown. Um, all right. Oh, this is classic. I'm going to get on my Josh Wolf here. The experts don't believe in us. The so-called experts at MLS.com. They don't believe in us. What the fans do. Let's go make us proud. Nothing. You guys are a bunch of losers. Everybody's about to get transfer listed this winter. God, come on. Um, I'm going to take away my formation and latest scores. Why aren't the games all kicking off at the same time? All right. We'll see. I don't beat Miami. That doesn't really matter for us. All right. So I'm going to do latest scores here. All right, boys. Go on, Ed. Good save. Good save, Quentin Westberg. Ben Angelo. I don't I don't I'm not gonna have any more Timbers dude till, till the summer. Um so just to just to save your suspense. But I do think that they're gonna bring in another big player in the summer, but hey, who knows? All good defending. Jesus, Talis. They started Edwin Mosquera. He's gotta be off sides. He's gotta absolutely be off sides. Put your flag up, referee! God, yeah, I need to laminate. I need a laminating machine in this game. Thank you. That was very clearly offsides. Did should have needed VAR, Mr. Referee. Do better. It looks like um, DC United are murdering Montreal. 6-1. My God. All right. Don't need to worry about Montreal for the playoff race. Fucking God damn it. Oh, I was looking. Ha, ha, ha. I accidentally looked at the other screen and I thought that there was another goal coming that was going to be allowed, but um, it was nothing that happened. So when you hear me cursing under my breath 
when nothing's happening. That's what just happened. So that's that's pretty embarrassing. Is the summer going to be a big one with rule changes? Yeah, I, th I think soon we're going to hear news. I, I reported that they're decoupling DPs from U22 slots in that every team can get three DPs and three U22s. I'm working on finding out the new other new stuff. I believe that there's going to be one or two more. Well, there's There's been one or two more rule changes discussed beyond that. I don't know how substantial. One of them was described to me as, as like more or less nothing, but I, I don't know if that's real or what's going to happen, but like nothing that I have reportable. Um, I'm just going to say absolutely unacceptable. Just see, let's just see if we get a reaction out of these, out of these clips. Because they're not reacting to anything. There we go. They're fired up. Let me look at, I need to look at, um, I'm going to pause it. I mean, I forgot to look at their, their are, is that Dyron Espria? Oh, <laughs> yes, for Espria. Is, I guess Tiago Amada isn't here. Um. God, we should be beating this team. <sighs> Latest scores. Where's Chicago? I can't even find the Chicago game. Can't even look. There's too many highlights. Uh, thoughts on, I don't know really anything about that Inter Miami right back, but um, when Tata's gone to Argentina, he's he's had an extremely high success rate. So I'm just going to assume that this right back that they signed is good, um, but we'll see. I know that they really wanted Franco Escobar. That wasn't going to happen. Obviously, why would Houston trade him? Um, they looked at a couple other people, so they still have some room for another signing, I believe. Uh, what else? All right, 60, I think we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to start going all out attack here. Let me find the where's where's Chicago? All right, Columbus, you need to hold on to that. Yo, tell me Chicago isn't kicking off at the same time as us. Am I just blind? All right. Guess not. All we can do is win. Yeah, it's not. It's not Dyrona. I figured. I figured that out. Um, we're gonna go. I mean, screw it. Just why not go out and attack, right? Um, Augustin Ojeda has worked for me in this game. I think we're just gonna go then with make the midfielders more defensive, and then I don't know. Just put everybody else on attack. <laughs> Oh, we're struggling, boys and girls. Um, Quake74 asks, what makes MLS executives take our survey? What their incentive is? Their incentive is to talk about the league that they love and, and then that they're in every day. And to, I can't tell you how many times I get calls about, like, well, you know, this, this, this like people just give their opinions the same way that that we do in, in this chat and, and just talking to our friends about MLS like um one GM I was talking to is funny like he's like yeah like obviously not obviously but he was like you know my wife isn't into soccer at all which is great like but he's like yeah sometimes like I still just want to talk about this like it's nice to just text you or call you about it because like this you know I do it for them I care so much about it that like it's just so they're just open to talking about it and like I will say more than a few guys seem to push a Miami <laughs> anti-Miami agenda they were definitely excited to talk about it. like yeah let's go Moe's house Magno um all right need uh input from the chat straight away what do we do do, do we I'm gonna keep us on positive but like ah I don't want to go to a shell again I'm going to pause it. I'm going to wait for the chat to catch up. Uh, Eagles Freak 13. Will there be a world where there's no longer salary cap? No. Um, it is significantly more likely that European leagues look more like MLS and American leagues, more not MLS, like, you know, salary caps, right? Than it is MLS dropping a salary cap. Keep on the offense. Hard counterattack. That's not, is that offensive? You know, fuck it. We're staying here. Don't tell YouTube that I cursed. This is going to be classic that we're going to ride out this game and then Chicago's going to get a draw and, and get in the playoffs ahead of us. Why are we ahead of Nashville? Oh. Uh -huh. Not making a sub. We're just letting it ride. We're just letting it, Yes, Ryan Hay, this team cannot defend. They're cowards. Don't you dare. Don't you tell me that there's... If we could... Just go to the corner, son. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle! Yeah! We got a 
a chance. Oh, I'm I'm elated, except extremely still very frustrated that if we didn't blow a three goal lead last game, we'd be in the playoffs. We wouldn't have to worry about what's going on in Chicago. Now I'm frustrated again. Oh, sweet. We're ahead of... So now if Chicago draw, they go ahead of Nashville instead of us. Thank you, Cincinnati, for that win. All right. Seattle. Nice, nice edging by NYCFC. Don't tell YouTube about that either. Uh... <laughs> Look at this DC United result. My God. Um, when did Chicago play? Philadelphia Union win the Supporter Shield ahead of San Jose Earthquakes. Uh, yeah, we qualified. Let's go. Oh, and we get to right our wrongs against Chicago. Um, for those who weren't here the last time, we played Chicago 3-3. Uh, we gave up a goal in the 94th minute, which was very frustrating. This was when things were going. This is the start of things going sideways when I was like, uh-oh, like we might have an issue here. Um, let's go. Honest to God, I thought that we weren't going to make the playoffs. I was very, very worried. All right. Do we just say screw it and put Ojeda in on the wing instead of uh, Ojeda in on the wing instead of Sam Vines at, at wing back? I don't really know. I think that's pretty aggressive, but like, uh, I, don't know, I think we're going to stay with Vines instead of Ojeda. And then I might take some, I might, I might yeah, that's what it is. So um, I think we're going to put Parks on, I don't know, man. No, because then if I put Parks on defense, then that's like, that's extremely lopsided. You guys tell me. <laughs> Matthew 12, give me a break. I, I took this team over in last place. We made the playoffs. We got to have some fun. Good crowd expected for NYCFC match. No, I'm not putting in Christian McFarland, 16-year-old Christian McFarland in this game, out of position. What the hell? Who Who is right? Who's giving stuff like this to, to journalists, to air quote journalists? This is This is awful. If this is virtual Tom Bogart reporting on me being fine, American Soccer Daily. What a rag, the American Soccer Daily. What the hell is this? Tabloid. Yeah, see, it's a tabloid. Give me a break. Clowns. <laughs> WSD Pishbot, you made a YouTube account. <laughs> oh, all right. I think I'm just going to keep it as is, like this. And then if things aren't going well, I'll put in um, Augustin Ojeda at halftime. Should I put... <sighs> I might put Parks on def defend? I don't know. Right, let's go, boys. We got a playoff game. We got a playoff game in the chat here. How long has it been? 45 minutes? Not bad. Let's see it. You know, I'm going to say something different. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say have fun and go enjoy the match. This isn't fun. If you carry your performance well, you'll do well with a strong finger point. A little flex. There we go. All right, we got them to respond to something. If this would be uh, pretty poetic if if <clears throat> Jared Onjakiri was the one who, who put me down after I've been just wrong on him being a good MLS signing for so long. I don't need latest scores. Uh, let me go NYCFC formation, Chicago formation. All right. See you, see you in Valhalla. The Sheik is counting on you. <laughs> little, little nervy game with no nothing. Tim Ream playing left back for Chicago Fire again. I like the way these, these virtual fire jerseys look on FM. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Sands. Yo, why, why do we give the ball away so cheaply? The point of this formation is to have possession, and we're giving the ball away so easily. Yep, that is Team Reem on the fire.
Brand okay asked if uh, any other leagues are looking at MLS for transfers more than before. Absolutely. Um, over the last five years, like, again, so whether or not the sheer number of transfers matches oh, this year, it, it's it depends on cycles for each player. Like, two years ago, like, when, when Ricardo Pepe and Tati Cassianos ended up, or when Pepe and, and a bunch of others left, it was kind of the right cycle and the right timing. But, you know, I, dude, all of the... All big English teams have scouts here. Like, a lot of big European teams have full-time scouts dedicated to this country. Like, it's not, like, a lot of them are looking for younger players, to be fair, to bring into their second teams and academies as well. But, but yeah, like, teams are absolutely looking at MLS more than they used to. I do hope Tim Ream does go to St. Louis at some point. I, I really do. Um, we got to be better in front of goal. That's what we're going to do. Um, we're not creating enough chances. I think I, I understand the point about, you know, might need to change. I, like, I think that this tactic work would work over a full season. Like, I don't know. And we have very, like, this team is loaded with good players. Like, so it's frustrating. There are a few injuries here that don't help. All right, Santi. Why not? Ice asked if there's, do I see any American players moving abroad this summer? Yeah. Um, off the top of my head, I'm locked into the tactics here. Nothing, nothing's really coming to mind, but that's definitely something I'll be doing videos on and writing about. Um, in the near future. So definitely stay tuned because I need to dive into it. Yeah! Tanner Tessman, let's go! I don't know how we sign him for 4 million without a DP spot, but I don't care. It, this was before I got here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, th oh. I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to go balanced. I'm afraid that we're going to concede because I, I want to put in Ilinich at, at, and make him wing back and, for Julian Fernandez, but I think we're going to concede, and then I'm going to want Julian Fernandez on the field. Good hands, Ronaldo. Bad signing. We're in the playoffs, Ralph. There is no live league table. This is this is the wild card game. Ah, oh, come on. See, good thing I didn't take off Julian Fernandez. Christ. That sucks. Christ. <sighs> no, no apologies, Ralph. Just 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 letting you know, just so that you weren't searching. Um all right, I think we go back to positive. Alright. I'm gonna give back for our chance here. I think I'm gonna go um, take out Maxi. I wish that I could have Jovan Miatovic, but he's he's hurt. Draft pick exploit. I don't want to. It wouldn't be fun to do a save while like trying to take advantage of the system, right? Like I don't even know what that is, and I don't even necessarily want to know. Yeah, Matthew Dwight. Like yeah. Yeah, Tessman again. Yeah, let's go. All right, 75th minute. We're up. Uh, a lucky goal here. I don't... Like, now do I take off Julian Fernandez for, for a wing back? I think so. That's pretty harsh to not give Tanner Tessman that goal is all I got to say here. I think that's Tanner Tessman's goal, if you ask me. But I'm biased. Um, Crap. Yeah, I think, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, this is going to suck if, if, um, they don't, then I could just make Sands a center back, a ballpoint center back. <sighs> Come on, boys. Let, let this be enough to see us through. I don't want to bring in another defense minded midfielder because I feel like we're going to concede again. Um, actually in constructions, kind of time waste. Make us a little less wide, hopefully less susceptible to a counter. But, like, we should be just dominating possession and seeing the game out. Like, this tactic shouldn't be so bad at the end of games. Everything's low, it's supposed to be lower tempo and... Go on, then. We did it! We did it! Whoa, at the start of the stream, I didn't think that we were going to even get to this game. Nice work, everyone. Like... Survive in advance. That's all I got to say. Win, baby, win. Now we're on very short rest going against the Philadelphia Union. 
a lot of edging here in in uh, in my FM emails. Now you see my my six week reign of terror of making them train set pieces because we kept conceding on set pieces is over. Um, oof. It's a good question, um, Sparks. Let's go to the regular season. So MLS does playoffs where the top nine teams make the playoffs, but um, eighth versus ninth plays in a little um, one-off game to see who makes like the, the final bracket of eight. Um, it's it's uh, it's confusing, <laughs> particularly this is a new playoff system than in recent years. But it's the best I can give you. Don't uh, don't don't worry too much about it. I'm just gonna. I think we're just gonna keep running this. What do you mean about adding match reviews after every match? Why? Why do you keep on saying pressure grows and I'm winning my, my last games? This is a different rag. This is a different rag. Different tabloid. Clowns. I can make jokes about who I think that'd be in real life, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do it here. Cody, Cody Acevedo says, basically, playing around before the playoffs, correct? They do have the best of three, I believe. Or actually, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, see, they do have the best of three. Um, I for, almost forgot that when I did the, the sim of the season um, on FM. <laughs> uh, not my favorite playoff style, if I'm being honest. I don't really think we need three first-round games, but whatever. I'm not in charge of the league. It's going to be a little bit boring that I think I'm just going to keep running back the same. Ugh. We're away. I mean, maybe this is when we, like, Tanner Desmond is going to die if I keep playing him 90 minutes. Oh, yeah. All right, back row. Good luck. Yeah, I'll do Perea to start. And we'll take it from there. Chris Schlock, I don't know. I don't know what I've done to these owners. We need to go show the praise is justified, except for the fact that the papers just keep on saying that I'm going to get fired. That's some praise, huh? All right, now. Union XI looks, looks correct. Is that not, Cody, has, is that not something that just comes up normally? The, the, uh, what's it called? The, Match reviews? I thought that we did recovery sessions automatically. Probably gonna have to sub out James. Ah, we got a game next week. Uh. We should just Gary Smith our way to three no nil ties. Three no two no nil ties and just winning penalties. Oh! Santi! Some point here, I need to go back to the uh, questions that I farmed out on Twitter. I'll feel bad if I don't answer some more. Pablo, my my good pal Pablo Mauro said, "Patch me in, you coward." I would if if I knew if I knew what Pablo meant. And there's also zero percent chance that Pablo's watching. That's all I can say. Uh, um, what else do we have in here? Adam Herman <laughs> doing MLS and FM is true masochism. I'm not sure if I respect it or if I'm horrified. I agree. But this is what the channel wanted. I, I put it out to see what you guys wanted, and then you all said MLS hit. Driussi Stan account. Should Josh Wolf remain in Austin until the end of his contract in 25? Um, I think his seat should be very, very hot. I will say I do feel bad for him that his roster sucks. I don't know how much uh, control he had over that before Rodolfo Burrell came. Um, but, yeah, it seems like there, there could be a, a, new, a new regime there in, at some point during the season. But we'll see. Ah! One nil. <sighs> All right, we'll, we'll check things out at halftime. Oh, look, Backrush sucks again. Killing me, dude. Killing me, dude. Yeah, good shot, Ryan. Maybe focus play down the wings. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to do that here. Defend here. Ball winning midfielder here. Tasman in the game. And then, um, where, what's his name? Agu Ojeda. Winga. Let's see. Yeah. It's a good shout, Ryan. All right, let's get these guys on the wings. Knock down my. Uh... Has Kai Kamara been training with IFC? What just happened? Is that on Twitter right now or something? Oh, I'm gonna search it. This is uh, this is also bad. Oh, cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think that's a no-brainer kind of rotation signing. Probably. I'm surprised that Kai hasn't been signed by somebody yet. Oh, Ryan Allen. Thinking of doing a North American journeyman save on football manager. That You're a hero if you do that. I, I wish you well. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I don't have the juice for it here uh, for a save. Uh, God damn it. If I could throw a water bottle, I would. I am actually going to go refill coffee in a second here. I'm going to do subs. Oh, look, back row sucks. Maxi. Oh, Magno's not playing very well either. All right, Chris McFarland, go on in then. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, I'm going to go walk away and get coffee. I hope that I come back to a highlight of us scoring. Nope. Not only are we not scoring, we're about to concede again, aren't we? Sun's going down. I gotta put in my stupid little phone. Oh, Keaton got injured. Oh, that's not good. Yes, this is a, a five dollar um, Staples little stupid ring light. I felt like a fraud buying it. I'm not not much for this um, YouTube influencer. Not info. Not info. <laughs> Not much for this YouTube light. I don't know what to do with lighting. I barely knew how to get this. The the mic boom arm thing, It's that it didn't fit on my desk. I have to put it on a side table that sits next to my desk now. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. There. I think that's part of the charm. Or maybe I'm just telling myself that. I'm just soothing myself for being inadequate and being an idiot with, with basic technology. Either way, we'll figure it out. No, no nobody would... They would they would have their assistants get them. I wish that you guys in the chat could have gotten got me this this extra time mug um, for my coffee. But um, I'm a man of the people, so I went and got it myself. Ugh. Point finger. Why can't I just say this with my hand hands on my hips? All right, we have a chance here in in, in the second game. I really hope Keaton Parks isn't injured for very long. All right, cool. He'll be back. Yeah, that's cool, Perez. You're not going to trade for Sam Vines. I don't care if you're scouting. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, 
I don't really feel like doing this right now. I just want to get to the game. <laughs> At least not relegated. You are right, Christopher Wright. I'm trying to think. Who else? Who else would be more likely? Vanny would probably get like a cappuccino. Uh, um, not cappuccino. Um, an espresso. That'd be cool to see him sipping a little espresso cup. Like, dude, Thiago Martins is is 28. If his defensive positioning isn't there, I don't think it's going to come just from uh, us training him here. You know what I mean? Oh, the Red Bulls proposed a trade. No, I don't want your I don't want your first round draft pick Red Bulls. I'm going to keep my international process slot. Thank you. Um What else? How are the playoffs going? Red Bulls are offering me international slot trades as they're beating Atlanta in round one. That's... Alrighty. What do you guys think is going to happen in this game? I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty pessimistic. I am honestly happy that, that we got through the, the wild card round. I think uh, 2024 is where you judge me. Um, we'll see. That's nice of you, mine. It's a great question. I should just start offering trades for um, Messi or somebody. Tomas Romero. Yes, he could be as good as Ronaldo. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, this would be nice to have to have Tomas come through. Again, they they did Matt Freeze dirty to me. They 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 put him at like two stars or whatever. Like I don't I like. What happened in Vancouver? <laughs> They won the Canadian Champo. Well done. Voyager's Cup. <laughs> this is the, the, the tweeters. If Thiago Martins doesn't start, I'm done. Why would I not start him? Adam Dodds, do you want me to start a backup goalkeeper? Clowns. Um, Tanner Tessman, get in there. Um, yeah, drop a back row again. And we're gonna go with Maxi Morales. Um, never mind. We're not gonna go with Max. Is he is he injured? A bruised shin. Yeah, I think you're gonna be okay, brother. It is the best three system, unfortunately. All right. See you in Valhalla. Hmm. <laughs> this is a chance to exact revenge. Oh, I always love when that's the option. That's an easy go-to. All right, then. Go on in, boys. Let's go. Bit of a slow start here. I feel like we're so reluctant to put tackles in. Every highlight, it seems like dudes can just run with the ball. Uh oh. God damn it. No. Oh. VAR. VAR. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I thought, referee. Well done. Good call, sir. I agree. I I agree, sir. I think we're going to focus play down the right today. Uh, be more expressive. Why not? <laughs> what other questions while I'm, I'm kind of... <clears throat> Colby Parnell asks, Patrick Ajimang has a goal and an assist so far. Enzo Capetti coming off an injury. Start the informed player of the DP player. I think this one's easy. I, I think you keep giving um, Ajimang a start. And I think, yeah, we got a goal, Tanner Tessman. Vamos. All right. We're back in the tie, boys. Um, yeah, I think that one's easy. I, th I think you start 
Ajimang and the way that you massage Enzo's, the ego of any DP forward, you just say, hey, you're coming back from injury. We don't know if you can go. We want you on the field at the end of the game, something like that, right? But I think Ajimang is, has earned another start. I do hope that Liel Abad is able to start because I want to see, like, he was under national duty with, with Israel. He didn't start for them, I don't believe. But if he's able to start, that'd be pretty cool too. Um, keep working hard. Keep working hard to full time. Okay. Um, uh, not a lot of, not a ton of great questions. Mayan had a question here. I know that you've been in the chat, but I'll go to Mayan asked, um, favorite FM save I've ever done. Um, one of the, some of the first ones are always fun. Like first time like, I've actually like fell in love with this game. I was studying abroad in London and I didn't barely knew much about this game. <clears throat> and I just got obsessed with it. Right. Just playing. Uh, I did a Norwich City save when that was one of the first time, one of the times that they got relegated from the Prem and were one of the best championship teams. So I figured for somebody who doesn't know anything about this game, let's just start with, you know, a, a championship team that's like one of the favorites just to give myself a little bit of a cushion. And I had, I had a ton of fun doing it. I've done Leighton Orient, 1860 Munich, and I've like bought gear for those teams. Like Leighton Orient was the team that was closest to me in London. I've liked that a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> I was hoping that if I just kept talking. Oh, we might get another VAR. No, MLS analyst, whoever you may be, uh, this stream is not brought to us by Miller Lite. The stream is brought to us by coffee right now. My fridge is empty over there. Um, unfortunately, the fridge is empty. We, uh, we had a bit of a bender around my birthday weekend last week. I sound like a, a teenage white girl saying birthday weekend, but it's just easier to say it that way. Um, plenty of celebrations. Too much celebrations, you, you should say. Um, hence why uh, there's, there's no alcoholic beverage on, on a Thursday night at 5.40 p.m. Maddie G, I did indeed study abroad. Queen Mary, University of London in East London. Um, oh, no. Oof. Yeah, I love London. It was phenomenal. Uh, I've heard good stories about championship manager uh, Ryan Hay. That's that's class. Was it? Um, are you nostalgic for that version of this game, or do you think that it's still really good now? You you t you tell me, Ryan. <clears throat> Orkney FC. That's a real team. Okay. Mister October Tanner Tesson. I just saw that. <laughs> Um, I should probably stop talking and make a sub. Oh, good block. Um, dude, Magno, speaking of players that are going that are going missing, Tyler's Magno just giving me nothing. Uh, Santi's probably my best penalty taker. Is he? No, he's not. That that's where FM has it wrong. Yeah, we're probably gonna be very bad at penalties now that I think about that as well. Keep like this. Man, look at these stats. We're getting dominated in chance creation. All right. So my personal, I like putting my best penalty taker fourth and my second best penalty taker fourth. I know that people kind of go both uh, both ways on that. I just like having in that spot back there my best player. Like, we well, don't have a lot of good penalty takers. That's not good. All right, boys. In front of our own fans. Are you... These players hate our fans. Every time that I bring up the fans in any sort of pep talk, I get nothing from them. Nothing. All right, Moonsef. Oh, Ronaldo! Well done! Could finish Talis. We might have a third game after all, huh? Good finish. Penalties in this game can be pretty excruciating. Get to be anticlimactic when you have to do all the weight up here. John Barnes and Ian Rush, let's go. That's beautiful, right? 
So yeah, do you do you like the game as much now, or are you nostalgic for the old one? Ooh, got lucky there, Keaton Parks. Oh, now they do the long, lonely walk. Alejandro Bedoya is absolutely scoring. <sighs> oh, thought he saved it. I think if we win this, my goal very badly is for next game to not go into a penalty shootout. I don't love this. Yeah, Tanner Jefferson, Mr. October. All right, game three. We'll take it, boys. We were we didn't deserve to win, but we got through in pens. Maxi Morales. Hold on. What is this? A good behavior award for Tanner Tessman? <laughs> That's funny that that's, I don't know, is that the official name? That's something I should probably know, admittedly, but it looks funny just reading it on FM. Would, everybody wants my, uh, inter we have too many international players to trade international slots. I'm not going to do it. Cody Acevedo, yes, I, I am looking to, to win this through on pens. Particularly when we got significantly outplayed last game to win on pens. Vamos, 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 vamos. Come on. Um, what are the questions that we have? Let's see, let's do another one. Over under for goals and Jonathan Rodriguez asked by Jesse Nielsen. Um, Doyle, if you're still watching, I, we definitely set this in the chat. I forget if I was arguing with Doyle or Anders. I think the number was 11 and a half and I, I went over. It was either 11 and a half or 12 and a half. And, and that's kind of where I'm going. I think if he plays 25 games, he should score 12 goals, right? Like that, that's kind of where I'm thinking. And I think that he has the capability to score 15 to 20 in this league, but we'll see. Do we just... I think I'm ready to put fucking August in my head. Um, screw it. Maxi Morales hasn't given me enough. What's that we're going to go? We're going to go with Agu Ojeda. Do not use the pregame editor. Um, Actually, for this, I did just to, like, with the FM update for the rosters, it was, I think, through February 7th, something like that. Um. And so I just added whatever transfers happened between February 7th and the 24th, whatever it was. When I did that save for the, the video where I, I simmed the season for, uh, I don't, don't do anything about the fans again. I forgot. Let's see. If, do they want to impress me? Nope. These guys just don't care about anything. Um, when I, I, I just updated the real life transfers that FM that happened after FM updated the game. Sorry about the ads guys. I honestly don't know. I thought that it only happened like when you jumped in, not um, during. I didn't know that there was mid-roll ads in this. Jesus. Oh. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> yeah, Matthew Dwell, these streams videos make me want to play. Like, I, I give you guys credit for sticking around rather than start, starting your own FM games. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm probably gonna need to figure out a crash course on how to correctly add an MLS team to the championship uh, with the in-game editor. I don't think it's supposed to be that hard, but I'm also an idiot. I wish Weeby's on vacation right now. I, you know, I really hope he's not watching. I would love it if he was watching, but I'd be very, very uh, sad if he was. Oh God damn it! I'm not even petitioning with the referee on this one. I like genuinely feel bad at this point if they got another goal called back. All right, yeah, that'll do it. Um, all right, let's go attacking. Oh hell yeah, Ralph. Yeah, that's just so usually. So I do like having like one. I love talking to you guys. This is this is fun. Um, I don't like trying to not curse though. But usually when I play FM, I'll put something. I'll do something else with it. Where like my focus is usually FM, but like I'll put on. Like, I'm, I'm a big basketball fan, so if there's a basketball game that, um, oh, god damn. 
it's a basketball game that I want to watch, but it's not like the Knicks or like a, a big, big like midweek game that like I'll put the NBA game on in the background while I'm playing FM or uh, some guilty pleasure TV show like the the 24 Jack Bauer. <laughs> like that's something that I used to watch in my childhood. So it just feels like a warm blanket to have on in the background. So <laughs> between that's usually what I do. Like I, I pair FM with, with things like that. Yeah, it's probably easy to move teams um, in the editor for normal people. I'm a moron. <laughs> like, even just doing this this very easy stream, like, like the stress that came with me trying to figure it out, and it's like extremely easy. And there's, I don't know, a thousand different articles and videos on the internet that tells you step by step how to do it. And I was still stressing and like anxious, like, oh my God, getting frustrated. Because again, that's just how it is. I think he's offsides here. Jeffrey Lopez, my main save. Um, I did a. I was. I currently have a Charlton one that I haven't been active on for a little while. But like, I usually like to play. Like, I like going to like a lower league in, in a lower league in a big country. So like England usually because I kind of have the most knowledge there as like a fan. And I like the championship has you know a billion games. Um, and like I usually like to play like a five one two two. And like press and transition, but like I just found myself signing the same players or the same kinds of players, so I just kind of changed it up. And I was like, "Screw it, I'm gonna do like a target man uh, save." And that's been a lot of fun, except not as um, productive in terms of winning points and gaining promotions. So I don't know what to do. Um, I think I'm gonna throw a water bottle. Let's see if this works. Oh, you guys are so soft, clowns. Yeah, I just throw one little water bottle at somebody, and everybody gets scared. Uh, Maxi, uh, probably a little hit over here. All right. Well, we have exactly zero shots. Um, so we're just going to go for it here. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. I didn't even notice how bad it was. Ryan, hey, that you said my, my FM save is to never sign anyone to do new gens. I've thought of that plenty of times. And then I'm like, dude, the first four or five years are going to be brutal. <laughs> Yeah, Nick, Nick Dimaggi, throwing the water bottle usually does it for me, but um, look, I'm on the stream. We got to perform. <laughs> no, but I'm actually actually getting mad at these dudes. At least they showed some sort of reaction. Henry, I'm just throwing it, but if it happens to hit somebody who is playing poorly, then, you know, you can't. Oh, my God, that's a great goal. Oh, that's a great goal. Even I got to clap for that. All right, so this is where the season's going to end. <laughs> when, uh, when this game wraps up, I'll stick around, do a couple questions, sim through the playoffs or whatever, um, and then mercifully end this at some point. But I'm having fun. It'd be easier if I had a couple beers rather than more coffee. But this is tough. <laughs> Oof. I, I think it's time to put in a few kids. Yeah, just Christian McFarland. Really... Pray on. Why not? You're not a kid, but... Why is Maxime Morales on wing? Killing me. Well, I know, B, that's a good question. I figured to just... I think it would have been aggressive to do my first dream, just hammering middle light after middle light. <laughs> so I'm going to go with coffee today. To be fair, Ryan, it's always beer time in, in Scotland and, and America. Not as just my it was just my choice today. Going to going uh, plans after this, so yeah, probably gonna have a couple beverages there. Honestly, I forgot to put uh, one of my birthday presents from my sister and brother-in-law was uh, Delirium Tremens, one of my favorite beers ever. Um, and I just remembered I did not put that in the fridge. I was actually about to go get that. Here, we got something. Oh, we got to serve sides in there. Got to restock. Got to restock for the weekend. Man, I was hoping that by this time this, save, this game would have been over. I'm going to... Um, I don't think any of you will mind if I just... 
Would you enjoy a drunk stream more? Maybe. But would my employers? Not sure. <laughs> Football manager is better than FIFA for me. And I do I do still like FIFA, but like, I don't know. Uh, like, honestly, FIFA clubs is, is better. If you can play with friends and stuff. Um, yes, Jeffrey, it is, it is a steep learning curve. Speaking of, I did have a friend just ask me if I want, if I could play um, clubs with him. I, I don't think I've turned on my Xbox in like four months. I don't even know if I have a headset. Yo, this game needs to end. <laughs> I should have just done park the bus. Maybe there'd be less um less highlights. Yeah, clubs are some of the favorite things that like college and high school and stuff with friends like. I love it. All right. We weren't good enough. A club stream would be fun. I bounced around in clubs. The problem was why I kind of fell out of love with it. It was just me and one of my one of my good friends. And so it was just the two of us. And playing clubs was just two dudes, particularly one who um, would take edibles and play. And he never changed his pro club. Like, he hasn't learned a new FIFA skill, like a new control since like FIFA 18. So it's like every year he just, or FIFA 17 probably, just every year he got like worse and worse. <laughs> so it's like, this isn't fun if it's just the two of us. But like, I, I would play, I, honestly God, I'd have fun playing like defensive mid if, if I had three guys that wanted to play forward. Like I just would want to play with more people. So <laughs> a squad planner for next season. See, look, they did Matt Freeze dirty, man. He's better than this. It's not, I, don't, I hate this. I don't even know that he was on today. Moved him to the second team before I got in here. DeAndre Yedlin won American MLS Player of the Year. That's not a thing in real life. <laughs> yes, De Derek. Derek is the one who texted me. <laughs> oh, no, no, it was Don who texted me and Derek. Yeah, and now we're here. Um, That's unfortunate. What do we got here? Semifinals. Can I just go to the bracket? Thought I had the bracket, maybe not. Somebody's gonna probably tell me that. All groups, nope. Uh, whatever, get angry. <laughs> Yo, Matthew, that's a great shout. I could just throw that on Twitter. Um, yeah, accept the vision. Oh, look at that! End of season meeting. It doesn't look like I'm getting fired yet. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna just go enjoy your off season. Uh, screw it. We'll talk. We'll talk later. Uh, I don't. I just you, you talk to him, David Lee. I don't. Who is this for? I don't want to do the second team contracts. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry. If I played clubs with any of you guys before my friend who's been asking me for the last few days, I would feel very bad. I, I can't not do that. So um, I'll let you know when I start to get time. Oh, Talis wants to leave. That's fair. That's fair. Um, let's see. I, I just, I'm just going to say, yeah, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> reasonable bid. Dude, I don't know. What is this guy's value right now? Ten million. We bought him for like eight. Are you kidding me? All right, fine. Eight. Whatever. Who cares? That's not my money. Um. Oh, mine. I, mine. I, I would do target forward. That was when I would have the most fun. But then I couldn't do it when it was just me and my friend who was stoned because he couldn't give me the ball ever. And like, you can't play individually. With the target man, you can try, but it's like not as fun. So, so yeah, it's uh, uh De yeah, Derek knows who I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to sim through. <laughs> Maybe we should try throwing a water bottle at him. <laughs> uh, I don't even know who this is. Clevis. All right, let's see who wins. And then, um, then, then I'll have a video. If, if you guys, if you guys suggest we keep this going, just in general, 
um, I'll do the same same kind of thing. I'll do another you know couple videos for next season, and then then live stream the playoffs. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I don't really care about the I, second team. Should just be different, different general manager. I don't really want to do it. <laughs> I really thought simming through the, the towards the playoffs was going to be quicker than this. I'm sorry, guys. But we're here now, so we're just gonna we're gonna write it out. Yeah, I don't care what you want, Inter Miami. You're not getting them. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of a lot of aggression of of uh, yellow cards and, and sliding tackles for uh, for my good pal who I play clubs with. Oh my God, no! I do not want to play goalkeeper in clubs. How boring! I did. Who did we just scout? Sure. Would need some convincing. Why would you not want to come here, bro? Use a little U22 initiative. Yeah, I hope Ronaldo leaves. Uh, where are we at? <laughs> Conference semifinal. Philly versus Miami. Charlotte, New York. One of these games. Favorite players of all time, Steven Gerrard, um, Luis Suarez. <sighs> did love, did love me some Daniel Agger. Oh man, just any Fernando Torres, any anybody from the those Liverpool era. That 2013-14 Liverpool season with kind of end of prime Gerrard, peak Luis Suarez, rising Raheem Sterling, peak Daniel Sturridge. Oh, it was class. On the American side, obviously everybody loved Donovan. Josie Abdo, Charlie Davies is one of my favorite players ever. It was fun to get to like work with him and, and start to become friends with him because he seemed like an extremely likable, nice, and genuine dude. Like on like just from watching him on the pitch as a kid. Um, and I can tell you in real life, Charlie Davies is, is one of the most kind, the most genuine, thoughtful like dudes in this business that I've met. Like he's so he's always on. Like it must be exhaust. Like I'd be exhausted like watching like how many people he has to talk to and whatever because he's a star, right? Like. Um, but he's always makes you feel like you're special, makes it feel like he's got all the time in the world for you, no matter how busy he is. Um, he's just a genuine good dude. And, and I'd ride for Charlie Davies forever. So like, that's why, like, that's been really cool that seeing him as, as when I was a kid, I, I, I really liked him as a player and then getting to kind of get to know him better, um, as a person, like a decade or two later, like it's awesome. So that's cool. Osama Asaidi. Oh my God. I have not. Heard that name in too long. That brings back uh, PTSD. I'm saying something nice about Charlie Davies and my feelings, and then you, you bring up Osama Asahi. God damn it. <laughs> oh, Charlotte FC in the Eastern Conference Final. Oh, LAFC as well. LAFC for San Jose out west. Oh, my God. Philadelphia killed Miami. Juggernaut. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, that's incredible. Julian Carranza with four goals. Wow. Well, at least it looks like Philly are, are on their way. Oh. Let's see. Stable job. Charlotte Philly in the Eastern Conference Finals. Look at this. Oh, they went to Extra Time. Who does Charlotte have that's playing so well? Scotty Arfield. Lee Alabada looks like a good signing in FM. All right. What do we got out west? God, Osama Asaidi. That's brutal. That's <laughs> brutal. Uh, all right. We're San, San Jose versus the Philadelphia Union at MLS Cup. Wyatt Omsberg is scoring the game-winning goal against LAFC. <laughs> Thanks. I'm all Paul Green with another assist. Who are, who are some of these people in the LAFC lineup? Um, we'll go to San Jose now. Cruz Medina starting in this. That's I love that. Knows that Wyatt Omsberg comes off the bench to score the winner. Michael Baldissimo. This is crazy. All right. Um... 
I didn't mean to generate the match report here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, great question. Uh, this feels like um, a good po <laughs> good podcast. Good. This would if if I did a YouTube video of this, you know, whether I thought 2010 or 2022 is a better team. This team would definitely like something like all caps in the title with like a, a, a little picture of me looking angry. Um, that's a great question. Honestly, dude. So like, I think that this group is better now. I think the talent's better. Um, but I don't, that doesn't take anything away from that 2010 team. Like Brad, like having Donovan and Dempsey where they were in their careers and like the fearlessness of that team. I know it's like a hacky thing to say, like fearlessness, like, um, but I don't know, man, like that, that was a, a phenomenally, a phenomenal team and a very fun team. Like that team absolutely had that dog in them. And I do think that this team does too, particularly like you don't beat Mexico four times in a row without having the dog in you. So, um, I, I would give the edge to this group, but, but I did love that team. All right, one more, one more. Let's, is, is it almost cup time yet? Uh, not yet. Philadelphia Union for San Jose Earthquakes. MLS Cup goes to the Philadelphia Union. All right, at least at least we lost to a juggernaut here. Uh, end of season review. Match, yeah. Losing money. Talis Magno, the best selling jersey. I didn't line up like this like one single time. <laughs> little, little mustachio Tom Bogart. It was a superb season for NYCFC. Okay. See, I got hired on July 6th. That's it. <laughs> um, okay. That's we're almost at the end here. If you guys got any more big questions, I'll take a take a few more. Or you can just tell me to F off and, and leave. What else do we have? Should Sir Murty grow a mustache? No, he shouldn't. Um yeah, I'll stick around for another minute or two here. Because I know we need to have the cat, the chat catch up. <laughs> Did love Bob Bradley for that team. I was 15 at the time of that 2010 team. Yeah, I was 15. I don't know. I don't think that I was uh, as locked in enough to uh, give a good a good opinion to that answer to that question. What games am I looking forward to this weekend? Good question. I've gotten a bad hat. Like, I feel like I'll, like, look at the schedule on, like, Friday. <laughs> like, what the games are for the weekend. Um, What do we got this weekend? Charlotte Cincy, particularly if Abada debuts, I I'd be really looking forward to that. Um, Orlando Red Bulls, that'll be a good one. Definitely not looking forward to Austin Dallas. <laughs> LA Seattle. Oh, Salt Lake, St. Louis. I, I think that's my final answer. It's real Salt Lake, St. Louis, if I had to pick one. Not, don't know of any uh, Seattle rumors. Do you think Walker Zimmerman's going to be the overage at the Olympics? Like, I'm, I'm sure it'll be a center back. Like, that makes sense. Maybe a center forward. Um, yeah, I would probably do center back, center forward, maybe winger. Like, I think. Uh, does Miami have any chance against Monterey? Yeah, absolutely. Um... It's, I th I'm really looking forward to that. I thought since he had a chance, like not that I didn't think that they were favorites at all because of how good Monterey is, um, but they definitely had a chance, and I think Miami do too. I don't know why the refs just aren't good. They're slow, ponderous. Like I think Caleb Porter called them soft. Um, it's just it's not not been good. I'm not watching any next pro. I struggled in <laughs> to keep up with 29 MLS teams. I will be at. The MLS next pro game in at the IMG, at IMG next week. Uh, what's that? Orlando versus Miami. Their second teams. So I'll uh, I'll let you know. Yeah, I don't know what what Louisville City's aims are. Um, I MLS have have left the door open to more expansion, so maybe. No, I don't. I I tried to do MLS fantasy once. I I don't like, I don't like doing fantasy where. Everybody can have the same player. I like doing fantasy drafts, and I would be open to doing that if somebody wants to invite me to one next year. Keep that keep that in mind, or if somebody wants to make one. But um, I don't like I don't love fantasy Premier League uh, like the traditional way because of that. Like 
Mo Salah would have a great game, and I'd be like, oh, cool, everybody else has him too. Awesome. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't like that. And, like, demo is fantasy, like, that the auto subs and stuff, and, that, like, t- like, people are smart, and, like, they'll put, they'll, they'll keep making changes throughout the weekend. Um, I just don't want f- fantasy, my fantasy lineup to be a full-time job, so not, not, my, uh, not my cup of tea. Yeah, dude, Damian Loss is, I was, he was a really, really highly rated talent coming through Chicago. I was surprised that they didn't sign him to a first team deal. Um, and then Gagas Onina came through and, and it made sense. <laughs> I've not done an online save in FM because I think my friends would be too, like, I, this is a game that you need to play at your own pace and it's best to play at your own pace. Timbers FM save. Let's go. Let me, please tweet at me or dm me or something keep me posted how it goes are they are they fun because i feel like we just me and my friends would just be yelling at each other about one of us taking too long to to move the game forward um but yeah maybe we'll try it and i don't know my schedule feels too crazy like i could barely schedule this live stream which just shouldn't have been this hard um i don't know that hopefully there'll be some roster rules change whatever decisions they make they gotta make it soon before you know it would go the small, some small ones would go in this summer, and then the more overhaul the ideas this winter. But we'll see what they agree to. <laughs> Shaquille Marshall Ruddy, yeah, he's fine. The the breakout that I've been talking about for Shaquille, Shaquille Marshall Ruddy for two years, it's finally coming this year. Um, all right, I think I think this is where I'll end it. Hour and a half. <laughs> um, I appreciate you guys all the all the time in the chat again to say something sappy and boring like you guys are why this is all possible and why. I try to reply to everybody on Twitter. Tell me I just got an advertisement in the middle of my heartfelt spiel. Did that just happen to anybody else? That would be, that is poetic. If I could have planned that as a joke, it would have been great. But that's very funny. Anyway, without, uh, yeah, without you guys giving a shit about anything that I say or do, none of this is possible. Um, You guys came through and watched me play FM, even though I didn't know what the hell I was doing in terms of streaming. Asking a bunch of questions, giving your takes. This was a lot of fun. These are the people that I want to be talking. These are you guys are the reasons why I still do look at my Twitter replies despite the like, you know, tidal wave of sewage water that comes through it. Because any you guys who are are good natured, good faith, and actually care, like I always want to be available to you guys. So appreciate it. Um, okay, I'm glad it was only the advertisement for me. That that's really funny. <laughs> yeah, actually, MLB opening day. I'm gonna go watch some of that. All right, y'all. Um, I'm going to figure out how to stop this, <laughs> stop this stream once I do. All right. I appreciate you guys. Well, and truly see you next time.